Okay, so I've come to the River Wandle today. Um, chalk stream that runs through South London. It's a very urban area. But the water today is gin clean. And there's quite a lot of fly activity. Um, I've only ever caught one trout here, and it was a small one. Um, but talking to a Polish guy who catches quite a few, they tend to use a sort of Czech nymphing style, so that's what I'm going to try today. I've got a um, beadhead nymph and a sort of caddis as a dropper. I'm going to use a short line and just drop it in. Um, I've already tried fishing between the weeds. Uh, with no success but that was really just to get a hang of it. I'll walk along this stretch of the river which is Portland's Park and I'll take various footages of the river as I go and uh, yeah be nice if I caught a fish. Okay, well I've been fishing for a couple of hours, caught a small chub, that was it. It was on a fly though, so I was quite happy. So I'm right at the bottom of the river now. This is where I usually start, which is near the water meads. It's quite open, about three foot deep. Very pretty. My plan now to start walking back up this section of the river and I'll take some video as I go and film some people fishing if I can. Yep, guy dry fly fishing. A lot of the people get in the water here with waders. Well, anywhere along the river. Well, not so brave. But you would need chest waders because the river here is probably three foot deep, if not a bit more. So this is where the barbel hang out. A very big chub. It's a bizarre blend, the Wandle. One half is leafy countryside. There's a pretty little river winding its way through. And then the other half is the urban jungle. Factories, warehouses. And in the middle of the two, lots of trout, chub, barbel, carp, dace, roach gudgeon and eels.
okay so we're now on the stretch of river that runs from the back of the industrial estates where the goat pub finishes down to Hackbridge and it's quite a slow moving river at this part though there are some faster rapids and the ambience has changed from factories and warehouses to residential that said the water's gin clear and there are quite a lot of trout chub and roach in this area So, not a bad little session, even if it was only one little fish and it was a chub. And to be honest, the chub in the bundle will eat anything. I mean, chewing gum, Kentucky fried chicken. So really, if you can't catch a chub on the bundle, maybe you should take up golf. But that said, there were lots and lots of fish in there. Just couldn't catch them. I finished the walk at Hackbridge and the surrounding area and the river after that gets quite narrow in places I mean very narrow in places it's almost a small stream or brook but there's still fish in there now if I'm to be honest I think really if you really want to be successful or you really want to catch a uh, trout on the wandle I think you're looking at a hook and a worm um, but it's worth going with a fly rod and persisting because um, they are there to be caught so I hope this has been useful and tight lines <laughs>